No socks on. Yes. Classic. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know that I haven't really uh, I haven't really posted on it for ages, but I am gonna start doing them again. I'm going to start doing them regularly, um, hopefully. <laughs> so if you don't already subscribe please subscribe um, if you haven't seen my previous videos please go and watch them and give them a little like and a little thumbs up and please come back and see me and I don't know give me advice tell me where to go and what you want to see because that will help me so much yeah it really will anyway I put it to my Instagram followers which is probably gonna be the first people watching this because let's be honest I don't really have many followers on YouTube right now um, what they wanted to see me style in five ways basically um, and overwhelmingly it was leggings now I own like patterned leggings I've never really been a person who would wear leggings previously it's only in the past probably six months that I've thought oh, I'll just wear some leggings um, but I think like they've upped the game when it comes to leggings I don't know if that's how you feel or not I know lots of people wear them because they're comfortable but I've always just felt a little bit too dressed down and a bit like they're a bit too casual um, until now so I have bought a pair of leggings a black pair which I never buy and never buy black leggings but I've bought some now these ones are from ASOS um, they come in all ranges so they come in petite tall curve um, just the regular standard sizes I'm gonna sneeze excuse me so these are the ones these are the disco leggings from ASOS mine I got in the curve section purely because there was like a discount on the curve ones which I'm not really sure why but they weren't on any of the others I got a 16 um, which I think will be absolutely fine for me I'm like 16 18 so they'll be fine um, they're brilliant they're not at all see-through you cannot see my face through these which is like another no-no for me I hate leggings that you can see through so they've, they've got like a nice sheen to them which kind of makes them look like the wet look leggings but not as like in your face which I think a lot of people struggle with and also some of the wet look leggings can be a little bit unforgiving um, yeah and I think some people just don't like that, which I totally understand. Um, so these are the leggings that I'm going to be styling up today. Um, I know that a lot of people probably might not like my style, but hopefully it might be able to give you a little bit of an idea on how you can do it with things that are already in your wardrobe. Because I mean, we all want to be environmentally friendly now, even though we also really want to buy everything that we see on ASOS and Boohoo and numerous other brands, shops hopefully you can find something that you would like to style up your leggings with in your wardrobe um, and if that is the case I would love to see them so please follow me on Instagram and like tag me in your posts and your pictures because I need inspiration as well um, so yeah let's crack on I don't think there's anything else to say apart from the fact that I will definitely link these in the description box so you can have a look yes it is Wednesday yes i am having a tipple because it's wednesday oh, soothes the soul right let's get to it here is a close-up of the leggings you can see how shiny they are but they're not um they're quite thick so thankfully you can't see everything when they're on so here is the outfit that i would typically wear for um, a meal out or drinks out something like that um, I've got a cream linen blazer that I got from H&M but obviously any blazer that you've got um, especially if it's a long line one because I know certain people um, don't really like showing their bum um, I don't have one it's like a, it's like a pancake it's nothing there so I don't have that problem with the bum because I don't have one um this dress is one that i got from 
H&M. You can see, well, I'm five foot seven and this is quite short on me. So um, the leggings are perfect for this. Um, I would normally wear them with like thick tights and some boots, but leggings are brilliant because obviously <laughs> you can see how short it is. And like I said, I'm, I'm five seven. Anything that's sort of knee length or below, I would avoid wearing legging with, leggings with. So if you're getting like a dress that you want to wear with the leggings, but it's at knee length, I probably would just go for tights. I wouldn't wear the leggings with that. Um, I've got my hat on because I'm not really wearing a thick coat, uh, but I am quite warm blooded. So obviously you could easily put a coat on over this or wear it without a coat. This is what it's like without the coat. I've just teamed it with some gold jewellery, gold hoops and my hat, got my boots on and I'm really comfortable. The leggings are like super stretchy, so they're brilliant for me, yep. So this is look one, let's go to look two. Here is look number two that I would probably wear. So I've just got a long line top, my leather jacket, my uh, disco leggings, hair scarf and my boots. Um, I'll show you without the jacket on. This is probably something that I would wear in the daytime maybe with my Converse or uh, again like I would just wore now with my leather jacket and some boots. Um, this is a nice v-neck and here it is from the back, there's another v-neck at the back. Let me sort that one. This is a tie at the back. I'm sorry my hair's down all the bed at the moment. Um, yeah, again, so it's nice and long. It's got the nice long stretchy sleeves. This is just from Tesco. Um, so you can't really see much of my bum. It's covering my stomach because I have a belly. So, and I'm not really keen on showing it. So <sighs> nice and long. Yeah, and it's really comfortable. These feel nice and warm. I mean, they don't feel, they actually feel a little bit big, if anything. So I would say probably size down. They're nice, you can rise them quite high if you like them that high. Um, but yeah, this is look number two. So let's go to number three. So again, here's another top, which is a little bit longer in the body. It's nice and floaty. It's got the uh, oversized collar, which is really popular at the moment. You can't see much of my bum. It's covering my pouch, which is wing-wing for me. Um, but I think I would be cold, so I would normally put a coat on or something, but today I'm going to try layering it up with a jumper. This is a jumper that's currently inside out, storing my life. And it's just from Tesco, again, this top is Asda. I feel like supermarkets are really bringing it at the moment. Um, this is just a nice cozy jumper i can't remember what they call this it's like a velour type jumper there you go there's another look so you've kind of got two looks in one there if you get something with a decent collar that's a bit longer and you can whack a jumper over the top then drops are good in. there you go that's look number three let's get look number four Okay, here's look number four. This is a bit more of me, to be honest. Um, so I've just got a baggy men's band t-shirt, Clash, love them, obviously. Um, I put it over the top of a turtleneck or a polar neck, whatever you want to call them. Just a nice jersey t-shirt. Uh, I've got my necklaces on. I would probably wear these with some um, like utility boots or Doc Martens or whatever. Should probably put them on my Alicia Puffina. Yes! Classy! My big coat, which is an oversized one from uh, Primark. And there you go. That is probably a bit more me, what I'd wear. Probably have my hair down and have like um, just a hat on, I would imagine. But there you go. That is look. Number four, and this look is a baby. It's a baby. So, look number five. 
again, this is a little bit more of moi. It's a baggy, oversized checkered shirt. Who doesn't love oversized shirts? Because they're comfortable, they're long, you can wear them over the top of t-shirts, you can wear them on their own like I'm doing right now. You can undo the buttons, button them up to the top, chuck a jumper over the top of them, just, just tuck them in. They're versatile guys, they are versatile. So this is my fifth look. I'm wearing it with my utility boots again. Mainly because I couldn't be bothered to get changed, but I would probably wear them with my Converse, my high tops maybe, and I would possibly wear my hair like this, even though I'm just feeling a little bit fun. Or I'd wear a hair scarf. I'd probably wear a hair scarf, knowing me. Um, again, you could wear it with my like a long black coat, like I just tried. But I'm gonna try it with my French Mac. One second. Okay, it's on. Do you want to see? I knew you wanted to see. There you go. Here is my French Mac. I say French. It's not French. It's from an English charity shop. But it just feels kind of French. So here we go. Put my hair out. You see, you can just make them work with so many things that you have in your wardrobe. So many styles. So many items that you probably already have. So this is my fifth look and I hope you like it. Didn't show you my chains did I? I like my staple now. I feel like I can't live without them. Oh yeah. I hope you like it. I hope you've liked this video. I feel like it's taken quite a lot of effort on my part which I'm not used to doing. If you did like it comment and give me a little thumbs up and subscribe i would love it if you subscribed thank you so much for watching my video please let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to style five ways and if you liked this video because i really want to know thank you so much until next time bye bye now